Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for this festive peppermint striped Christmas blanket. This blanket uses a sparkly yarn to really bring out that glitz and glitter for the holidays. This blanket measures 46 by 51 inches. It's a one row repeat. You do your base row and then you repeat row two over and over, changing colors every row. So let me tell you everything you're gonna to need to make this blanket today. For our project today, I am using the Premier Basic Shimmer Yarn. This is a beautiful festive yarn. It's a number four medium worsted weight yarn. It comes in a 216 yard, 198 meters, 4.23 ounce, 120 gram skein. It's 97% acrylic, 3% metallic polyester to give it that holiday glitz and glitter. This yarn has been tested and approved against 350 harmful substances. It is machine wash warm and tumble dry low heat. So I like it that you can throw it in the washer and dryer. So for our project, you're going to need five skeins of white shimmer color 2094-01. Now I'm showing a partial skein here because I didn't have a full skein left. You're going to need five skeins of the Peppermint Shimmer, color 2094-04. Look at that shimmer in that yarn. Just a beautiful holiday color. So again, you're going to need five skeins of the White Shimmer and five skeins of the Peppermint Shimmer. You're also going to need a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get our blanket started. To begin our blanket, I already have my white attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. Now I wanna remind everyone this crochet tutorial is filmed using USA crochet terms. So let's go ahead and begin. Now this stitch pattern is a multiple of three plus five. We're going to chain 185, and that's the multiple of three times 60 for a total of 180, and then you add five extra chains for a total of 185 chains. You're going to yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, and this creates your first chain. That's one, two, three, four, five. Continue until you have 185 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I'm back, I have my 185 chains made and it's best to do a double stitch count. Count those chains because it is a long chain and you don't wanna get your first row started and have to rip it out. So just do a double stitch count. Make sure you have 185 chains. And now we're ready to begin row one. Now this is a one row repeat. Row one will be our base row. Row two will be the row that you repeat over and over for your blanket. To begin row one, we're going to skip the first five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. And into the sixth chain, we're going to work a double crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert into the sixth chain from hook, yarn over, and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. That's how you make a double crochet. So now we're going to start the repeat. We're going to work across our chain. So if you need help, you're going to click back to where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and we're going to continue across until we have two chains remaining. So let's go ahead and begin the repeat. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work three double crochet around the post of this last double crochet made, keeping the last loop of each stitch on our hook. So let me walk you through it step by step. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath the post of that double crochet you just made, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, 
insert underneath that same double crochet stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. And sometimes I just pull my stitches over, yarn over, insert underneath and around that same stitch, yarn over and pull back through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have four loops on your hook. You're going to keep them on your hook. You're going to skip the next two chains and you're going to double crochet into the next chain, leaving the last loop on the hook. So yarn over, skip the next two chains, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have six loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made a double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of five loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. Now once you get the hang of doing this section here, it's going to be a breeze. It's going to work up so quickly. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to work three double crochet around the post of this last double crochet made, keeping the last loop of each stitch on your hook. Yarn over, insert underneath that last double crochet made, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert underneath and around that same stitch, yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. We need to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert underneath and around the post of that same stitch, yarn over and pull back through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of four loops and you're going to keep these four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next two chains, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have six loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how the pattern is forming. So let's do it a couple more times together. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath the last double crochet made, work a double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Double crochet underneath and around that same stitch, leaving the last loop on your hook and then yarn over, insert underneath and around that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of four loops on your hook and you're gonna keep them on your hook. You're going to skip the next two chains and when you're skipping those chains, make sure that you pay attention of where this double crochet is because you don't want to count this as a chain or your work will be off. Make sure you go to the next unworked chain. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two chains, one, two, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You made a double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook and that is the end of the repeat. So now I'm going to do the repeat two more times, but I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to work the stitches. You're going to chain three. You're going to work three double crochet around the post of that last double crochet made, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. That's one, two, and three. You have four loops, you keep those four loops on your hook, 
you yarn over, you're going to skip the next two chains, insert into the next chain, and work a double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time together. You're going to chain three. You're going to work three double crochet around the post of that last double crochet made, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. That's two and three. So you have four loops on your hook. They're going to remain on your hook. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two chains, insert into the next chain and work a double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video where I go into detail on making each little cluster section. You're going to repeat that across until you have two chains remaining and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm over at the last two chains of row one. We just done our repeat across and you work across until you have two chains remaining. So we're going to finish the round by working the same cluster, only we're going to have two chains instead of three. So let's go ahead and finish the row. You're going to chain three. You're going to work three double crochet around the post of this last double crochet made, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. That's two. And that's three. You have four loops on your hook. You're going to keep those four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over. You're going to skip that next chain, insert into the last chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You have a total of five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. So row one is finished, row one is the base row, and now we're ready to begin row two, which is our repeat row. So I am finished with my white, so I'm just going to fasten off my white. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now we're ready to begin row two. So grab your peppermint shimmer and let's begin row two. To begin row two, I have my peppermint shimmer attached to my hook. We just fastened off row one. So I'm going to turn my work. So we fastened off here and I'm going to join right into the top of that first stitch. Insert under the top two loops. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. And then I just pull this yarn to the back. And then I'll weave that in when I'm all done with my blanket. We're going to begin with a chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to double crochet into the next chain three space. Yarn over, insert underneath and around that chain three. Yarn over, pull through, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. So now we're going to start our repeat again. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work three double crochet around the post of this last double crochet worked. Now I'm going to go into detail for the first one and then I'm just going to work the rest of them. You're going to yarn over, insert underneath the post of that last double crochet made, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your first double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert underneath that same double crochet, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert underneath and around that same double crochet, yarn over and pull back through. 
You have five loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your third double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. So now, because we're not working on the chain space, we're going to jump over to the next chain three space. You're going to work a double crochet around the chain three space, leaving the last loop on your hook. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain three space underneath and around, yarn over and pull through. You have six loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook, you have a total of five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to chain three. You're going to work three double crochet around the post of this last double crochet made. Yarn over, insert underneath and around and work three double crochet leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. That's one, two, and three. You have four loops. You're going to leave those four loops on your hook. You're going to double crochet into the next chain three space, leaving the last loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert into the chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You made a double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And you can see how your pattern is forming. So let's go ahead and work it two more times together. You're going to chain three. You're going to work three double crochet around the post of this last double crochet made, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. Yarn over, insert underneath that last double crochet stitch, work three double crochet, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. That's one, two, and three. You have four loops. You're going to leave those four loops on your hook and then you're going to work a double crochet leaving the last loop on your hook in the next chain three space. Yarn over, go to your next chain three space, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. So we're going to do it one more time together. You're going to chain three. Then you're going to work three double crochet around the post of this last double crochet made, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. That's one, two, and three. You have four loops. You're going to leave those four loops on your hook and then you're going to work a double crochet into the next chain three space, leaving the last loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook. You have a total of five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and work that across to the end of the row, working the last double crochet of the last repeat in the top of the ending turning chain. And I'll meet you at the end of the row and show you how to do that. I'm over at the end of row two. We have one more repeat to go. So when you get to the end of the row, this is where it's going to confuse you the most. You're going to work your section here and work that double crochet into the last chain three space. Once you work into that last chain three space, you're going to have to remember you need to do this section one more time, but where you put the double crochet instead of the chain three, we're going to work that double crochet over here in the top of the turning chain. So let's go ahead and finish the row. You're going to chain three, 
And now we're going to work three double crochet around the post of this double crochet, the last double crochet made, and we're going to keep the last loop of each stitch on our hook. That's one, two, and three. And then to end the row, you're going to skip the rest of this chain three, and you want to come over here all the way to the top of this turning chain. You're going to work a double crochet into that top chain, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert into the top chain of the ending turning chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You're going to have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And you can see how your end is now straight and you have your last cluster made. So we are done with the peppermint shimmer. So I'm going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So again, with this pattern, row two is your repeat row. We're going to repeat row two over and over, and we're changing colors every row. So now to continue working on your blanket, you're going to switch to the white, repeat row two, and work a row of white. Then you're going to repeat row two using the peppermint shimmer, and you're just repeating white, red, white, red, white, red, and you're going to do that for a total of 41 rows. Now the end of 41 is going to be a white row. So again, to continue working on your blanket, you're going to repeat row two over and over. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat row two, changing colors every row, alternating white, red, white, red, and you're ending with white for row 41. So again, go ahead and continue repeat row two, changing colors every row until you have 41 rows complete and you're ending with white. I'll meet you at the end of row 41. So I'm over at the end of row 41. I just fastened off, and yes, my ends are still on my blanket. I'll weave them in when I'm all done. We repeated row two, alternating colors, white, red, white, red. And when you get to the end of row 41, you're going to end with a white row. So this is where I fastened off. So we are not going to turn our work. We are going to go up to the top row end stitch of row 41. So you worked across, again, this is where you fastened off. And then we're going up here to the top of row 41 to start our border. So grab your red shimmer and let's begin round one of the border. I'm over at the end of row 41. This is where we fastened off. I have my peppermint shimmer attached to my hook and we're going to join in the top row end stitch. You're going to see this double crochet stitch going across the side of the row. So we're working across the top of our blanket. We're going to insert underneath the row end stitch and you're going to slip stitch, yarn over, pull back underneath that post of that stitch and through the loop on your hook. And I just pull that yarn to the back of my work. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet back around the post of that end stitch, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same stitch, that same row end stitch. So you have your beginning chain one, which does not count as a stitch, a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet around the post of that first row end stitch. So now we're going to start our repeat and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the row end stitch of each row. Now with this pattern, it's going to look like two row end stitch. This is not a row end stitch. You want to come over all the way to this larger row end stitch. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. 
Then when you go to your next white row, you're going to see you have that double crochet stitch going straight down. We're going to single crochet around the post of that next row and stitch. Chain two and then single crochet back around that same row and stitch. And we're going to repeat that down to the next corner. So then when you go to your next row and stitch, it looks like there's two row end stitches, but this is not a row end stitch. You want to go to this bigger opening right here, insert underneath that opening, that end stitch, work a single crochet. Chain two, and then single crochet back underneath that row end stitch. Then when you get to the white row end stitch, you're going to see your double crochet stitch here. You're going to insert underneath that row end stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back underneath and around that same row end stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, into the red row end stitch, and then into the white row end stitch. Repeat that across to your next corner, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner of round one of the border. We're working a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, in the row end stitch of each row down the length. Now, when you get to the last row end stitch, you're going to see that this over here starts working down the side. So we're going to skip this last row end stitch and right into the first chain space going down the length, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain space. Then we're going to chain two for the corner. You want to spin your work around. And now we're going to be working down the length. So we're going to work our single crochet back into that same space we've been working. Chain two. And then single crochet back into that same chain. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your single crochet, chain two, single crochet, V-stitch, a chain two to form the corner, and then a single crochet, chain two, single crochet to start working down the length of our blanket. And then you're going to see we're going to have chain two spaces. So we're just going to start up and work a single crochet into the next chain two space, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. And we're just going to repeat that down to the next corner. Single crochet into the next chain two space, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. Again, go to your next chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. So go ahead and continue and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each chain two space until you get to the corner chain space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner chain space. We just worked a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain two spaces down the length of our blanket. And when we get to this corner chain space, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same corner. You're going to chain two to form your corner. And then we're going to work a single crochet back into that corner space, a chain two, and then a single crochet back into that same corner. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your single crochet, chain two, single crochet, then the chain two for the corner, a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all in that corner. And that's what helps make the transition around to the other side. So now we're going to be working into the row end stitches. So with this side, you're going to notice that the white section now has the two row end stitches. You want to go into the larger one only. 
So let's go ahead and start working across the bottom. We're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the row end stitch of each row across the bottom. So go to your red row end stitch and I'm going right into this larger opening, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that row end stitch. Then you're going to go to your white row end stitch. You're going to have this smaller section and then the larger section. We're going to go under this larger section. Work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. Go to your red row end stitch, insert into that space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space at the row end stitch. Then again, when you go to your white, you're going to have the two pieces here. This is a smaller one. This is the larger one. You want to go into the larger one. Insert, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet. So go ahead and continue. Work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next row and stitch, and then work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the larger row and stitch of this next white row. So repeat that down until you have one row remaining, and I'll meet you at the next corner. I'm over at my next corner. I just worked at the base of the last cluster and then you're going to see this corner chain space. So this is the first chain space going down the length. So we're going to go ahead and go into that corner chain space or the first chain space going down the length. Work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. You're going to chain two to form your corner and then back into the same chain space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet. Your corner is made. You made a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two for the corner, and then single crochet, chain two, single crochet, going down the side of your work. So now we're just going to continue working a single crochet into the next chain two space, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. So we're only working in the chain two spaces down the length of our blanket. Single crochet into the next chain two space, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. So go ahead and continue, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each chain two space down the length until you get to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round one of our border. We just worked a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space down the length. And now we're back over to where we started. So we still need to finish this round. So we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet back in the same first chain space where we started. Insert your hook, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. Then you're going to chain two to form the corner. We're going to go over to our first single crochet. Now it's a little hard to see because of the way this thread is interwoven with the red and white. Insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. So now we're ready to begin round two. To begin round two, I know it's a little hard to see, but we're going to be working into the chain two spaces only of each V stitch and the chain two space of each corner. So we're going to begin round two by skipping this joining stitch. You're going to go to the chain two space in the center of that V stitch and slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain one. You're going to work a single crochet into that chain two space, 
chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. So what we're doing is we're stacking our V stitches. And again, I know it's really hard to see with this yarn. You're going to go to your next V stitch, insert under the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same space. Then go to your next V stitch, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain two space of each V stitch around. So when you come to the corners, you're going to have a V stitch, a chain two, and a V stitch. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into each corner and then place a stitch marker into that corner V stitch that you just made. So again, continue and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each chain two space around making sure that you mark the corners with a stitch marker. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. I just finished with a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into my corner chain two space. And when you worked around, you worked a single crochet, chain two, single crochet of each V stitch and each corner around, making sure that you marked each corner V stitch. So when you get over to the beginning, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet, insert under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So I am done with the peppermint shimmer, so I'm just going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now we're going to switch to our white shimmer and put one more round on our blanket. So grab your white shimmer and let's begin round three of the border. So now we're ready to begin round three of our border. I already have my white shimmer attached to my hook and I'm going up to my top right hand corner. You should have a stitch marker in that corner and we're going to join with the slip stitch. Insert into the corner chain two, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And then I just pull that yarn to the back, this yarn end. We're going to begin in chain one. This beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my stitch marker out. Again, I'm in the corner chain two space. We're going to work a half double crochet, yarn over, insert into the corner chain two, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's how you make a half double crochet. You're going to chain two. You're going to half double crochet back into that same corner chain two space. So our first V stitch is made. Now this beginning chain one does not count as a stitch, so a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Now we're going to make a second half double crochet V stitch into the same corner chain two. Half double crochet back into the corner chain two space, chain two, and then half double crochet back into the corner chain two space. your second V stitch is made. So now all you're going to do is you're going to work a half double crochet, chain two half double crochet in the chain two space of each single crochet V stitch across to your next corner chain two space. Go to your next V stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain two space, work a half double crochet, chain two, and then half double crochet back into that same chain two space. Go to your next V stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain two space, work a half double crochet, chain two, and then half double crochet back into that same chain two space. Let's do it one more time. Go to your next V stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain two space, work a half double crochet, 
chain two and then half double crochet back into that same chain two space. So go ahead and continue, work a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet into the chain two space of each V stitch across until you get to your corner chain two space, which you should have a stitch marker in. Then you're going to work a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, two times in your corner chain two space. So go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. So I'm over at the end of round three of our border. We worked a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in the chain two space of each V stitch around. And in the corners, we worked two V stitches of a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet two times in each corner. So now we're going to join, we're going to insert under the top two loops of that first half double crochet, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So I am done with my border, so I'm just going to fasten off. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So our afghan is finished. I'm gonna weave in my ends and I'll be back and show you the finished afghan. Our blanket is finished. I want to thank everyone for stopping by and crocheting with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.